Hi everyone, Deathclaw Girl here. Do you want a PlayStation 5? Well, check out a link in my description for a chance for one. And now, welcome to another one of my videos. You can help support this channel by subscribing and liking, and by grabbing some of my free ebooks and audiobooks. Today I'm promoting Shades of Grey, an apocalyptic science fiction series, and Monster of Monsters, a sci-fi horror. You can read or listen to the first two stories of both these series for free. I've left the link in the description, and later on there'll be one in the upper right hand corner. And now to this live stream. In this live stream, I'm going to show you three hotspot locations for mole miners. There is a longer list in the description if you want to know some more spots to check them out, but not all of them are hot spots. So I'm just going to focus on the three hot spots for today. So if you're also looking for treasure hunters, these are possible locations. I'll explain a little further. Treasure hunters have a good chance of popping up where mole miners are, since they are mole miners. But treasure hunters can actually spawn anywhere. You just need to listen for that beeping sound that they give off. So let's go ahead and get to the map. First, I'll show you the three locations, and then I'll take you there. I'm currently at Fort Atlas. This is a free fast travel point, which is very close to Monaco. I might have slaughtered the name, but anyway, that's that one. The other location is down by White Springs. It is called Blackwater Mine. And the final location is near a train station and it is Welch. So let's start with the closest one and I'll give you a better map reference. Again, like I said, it's close to Fort Atlas and here is Vault 76 for reference. You go all the way east and there is Monaga. I still think I'm pronouncing the name wrong. I'm going to try not to engage any of the residents. This is a town, and it's usually full of mole miners, so this is a very good place to go if you're hunting for mole miners, or if you're actually looking for treasure hunters. Again, treasure hunters can spawn anywhere. It does not need to be a place where mole miners are. Get my rifle so I don't have to get so close. And up ahead, you can see there's a mole miner and a mole rat. So there's one. Do some vats. See if those were the only two there. Oh, let's go to another location. Again, like I said, this is a town, so go through and explore it. There's usually anywhere from five and I think up to ten mole miners. There's another one over there. Nope, there's actually two. I'm not going to spend too much more time here, but that's three so far. There's, there's another one. No, actually, it's three here. So there's one there, one there, and one there. And that was the one I first showed you. So like I said, there are... That's over five now, so I'm not going to spend any more time here. I'm going to go to our next spot. So this video is not extremely long. And our next spot is again at White Springs. White Springs is where you do the refuge for the pit assignments and right next to it is the White Springs station and the Blackwater Mine. And here is your free fast fa travel point foundation in the lower part of the map. So just go straight up from there and there's the Blackwater Mine. The Blackwater Mine is going to have two locations. There's an outer area and it has one, two, three, four, five, six to eight, I think, at least six. And here is your fast travel point that you land at. I have not landed anywhere else, so you always have this first guy. There's going to be a guy up in that nest. Well, that's cool. The billboard up there, nice blue truck. Then either you can hop over this fence if you have a jetpack. Again, 
second guy is up there. There he is. Okay, and then you're going to have two in that building. There's a guy straight ahead. Oh, they spotted me. And there's a guy in this large shed. So I'm going to try to mostly try to get them to ignore me. So I'm going to sneak around. So those are them. Now I'm going to take you to the second location that's at the same spot. So you go into this metal structure and you're going to go to this back door. I'm going to go in a little bit, but not... Yes, I'm going to go in a little bit. Um, I don't want to engage the mall. The mall... No, no, I think there's mongrels is first. You got to get past mongrels or it could be mall rats that first come to the location. I'll see if I can bypass them without them spotting me. I'm not sure. It's kind of close in here. So you follow these tracks in. And it's mall miner. Sorry, I keep calling them miners. Mall rats right now. So let me see if I can sneak past them. Up, 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 up. Don't, don't spot me. Don't spot me. Okay, when you get to these two dead mole miners, they're always going to be here, but that just lets you know there's an entrance in here. When you walk through there, one is going to pop up, and then you just go right. I'm not going to go in there because that will, uh, I will be in danger. And then you go in there, keep following it. You'll have a set of stairs you go up, and within there, there's one, two, three, four, five, at least six more. You can also come down here. It does have radiation. And this, uh, there's one. This also is an out of that area I was talking about. So there's a guy over here. There's actually quite a few corridors you can go through. And I believe if you go back here, we're going to check out this area. I, no, there's none in there. If um, uranium fever triggers. There's mole miners during that event, so that's an excellent event to go to if you're wanting mole miners. And yeah, here's the other two. Any breach and clear events also have, I think, I don't know if it's a hundred percent or like an 80 percent chance that the enemy you'll be fighting will be mole miners. Now let me take you to the third and final hotspot. You're going to go all the way to the, I think this is called the Ash Heap. And your free fast travel point there is the Rusty Pick. And from the Rusty Pick, you're going to go south and then slightly west to Welch. Go there now. I encourage you again to go check out that uh, PS5 that's up. The link's in the description. And now let's go. Actually, I think the better one to start out, it is Welch, but the train station is the better location to go to and start from. So let me back up a bit and just go ahead and fast travel there. And then I'll show you from that location. Okay, so over here you're going to have random uh, enemies. Death Claws, Super Mutants, Scorch. So you're going to come down here. Yeah, you can hear them now. This is a train station. So there is a legendary script, a vendor... A possible companion. Is that him? Why is he? Oh, he's... <laughs> I'm sorry. I, he's sleeping while he's standing. Okay. Sorry. That was just so funny. I might have to come back and check him out. But anyway. So down here is where you're going to find quite a few of the mole miners. So there's usually always two on that roof. As you can see, there was also a boss. So I would say there's at least six or more in this location. 
You just have to go find them. They'll be sometimes in the houses. There's one over there. So you got this back line of houses. Then you got this line of houses in front of me. And then that line over there. So yeah, there is quite a few in this location. Again, like I said, uh, I just showed you the three hotspots for the mole miners. There are uh, more locations in a list in the description. They usually only have like maybe one to three mole miners. I was checking out some of those. Yeah, and they're not really hot spots. And one more time. If you are looking for uh, treasure hunters, uh, these hotspot locations are a good area to go. But as you could hear, there was none in these locations. So anywhere that enemy groups spawn in large locations is where you'll find the mole miners. I'm sorry, the treasure hunters. <laughs> Let's check him out. Wait, turn the light on. He, <laughs> oh my God, he's sleeping standing up. Yes, I believe this is one of, I think, I'm not 100%, so someone correct me, but I was thinking he is maybe one of the companions you can grab. You have to talk to him, but I'm not going to disturb him because, yeah, he is sleeping. Yes, he is sleeping back, standing up. Hi, Dylan Rhodes. I, I'll be quiet so you don't, don't wake up. So let me turn my light off. Let me go up here and finish up the video. All right. Do you guys know of any other really good hotspot locations? I'd like to make a better, more updated video later on. Those are three of them. Check my list also in the description. There's more locations, but I didn't think any of them were really the hotspots that these other three were. All right. That is going to be it for me. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And... Check you guys later. Happy gaming!